Otis College of Art and Design presents Gripology 101 Setting up lights Loosen the knob at the top of the leg section. Slide the top of the leg section down and pull out the legs. Whenever possible, spread the legs out completely so that the internal brace is perpendicular to the stand. Weight the stand before you connect any equipment to it. Place your sandbag over the inner strut so that the sandbag doesn't touch the ground. This way, all the weight of the sandbag is transferred to the legs of the stand. When adjusting the stand, just remember righty tidy, lefty loosey. Always start with the top riser. With heavy loads, avoid extending the riser to its maximum height. This way, the stand is less likely to shear at the connector. To lower the stand, always start with the bottom riser. To collapse the legs, remove the sandbag. Loosen the knob at the top of the leg section and pull up. Remember, lighting equipment can get very hot. Always wear gloves. A 650 watt Fresnel light is commonly known as a 650 or a tweeny. To set a light, place the connector over the 5 8 pin or baby connector, then tighten. It has a knob on the back of the instrument that allows you to focus the light between flood and spot. Secure the cord by wrapping it twice and reattach the loop. This minimizes the stress on the connection between the lighting instrument and the cord. When plugging into an extension cord, also known as a stinger, it is a good habit to make a loose knot between the lighting instrument and the extension cord. This way, if someone accidentally tugs on the stinger, it will not become unplugged. It is good etiquette to say striking before switching on any light. To focus the light, turn the knob to the left for flood and to the right for spot. This moves the bulb inside the instrument closer or further from the Fresnel lens. Barn doors are metal flaps, which are also called leafs, that allow you to control and shape the beam of light. There is a groove on the back that slides on to the accessory mount. Pull up and turn the accessory latch on the top of the instrument. Slide the groove over the metal prongs of the accessory mount. Lock the accessory latch. Position. Adjust the doors to shape the light. Metal scrims can be used to reduce the amount of light emitted. They come in single, green, and double, red. Slide the scrims inside the metal prongs of the accessory mount. They are also known as lettuce and tomato. Single cuts the amount of light by half a stop and double that cuts the amount of light by a full stop.
diffusion can be attached to the front of the barn doors to soften the light. Clothespins or C47s are used to attach the diffusion to the barn doors. Adjust the barn doors to eliminate any unwanted spill. You can also attach gels. Gel frame. or a snoot. Remember, lighting equipment gets very, very hot. Always wear gloves. To break down a light, turn it off. Unlock the accessory latch. Remove the snoot or remove the gel or remove the diffusion Unlock the accessory latch. Fold the leaves of the barn door. Lift the barn doors out of the accessory mount. When coiling the cord, remember to twist with your thumb and index finger as you go to remove any kinks. Use caution when handling the light fixture, it may still be hot. To collapse the legs, remove the sandbag, loosen the knob at the top of the leg section and pull up. Tighten all the knobs. Place the stand back into the lighting stand cart. And voila! Now, go out and shoot.